Well, it's that time of the month again. It's time for September's net worth calculation. So stick around, we'll let you know if, well, we're down. So stick around and we'll let you know what's going on. Yes, and if you are here for the first time, my name is Jean. Oh, oh. I'm Christine. <laughs> this is Christine. <laughs> yeah, she's my wife. We live in Canada and our financial independence journey started back in 2019 when we had around $60,000 in consumer debt. We are over this. Now we are in October 2022, recording September 2022 net worth update. Yeah. Every single month we come here and we share with you the good, the bad, the mm. ugly and everything in yeah. between. And mm. September is not going to be different. <laughs> I was actually looking at the news a few uh, a few minutes ago. CPI increased in Canada, CPI increased in the US, CPI increased in the UK. So everywhere, everywhere yeah. prices have been going up, and people have been, you know, thinking about their investments. And it's it yeah. also includes us. And that big R word seems to be looming for a lot of people, which scares people, right? The whole recession threat. So. I think people are being cautious and it's yeah. causing a lot of the markets to go down. Not to mention there's been a few yeah. uh, natural disasters in North America yeah. and probably elsewhere in the world as well, which obviously affects a lot of things too. It does. So, but I guess that's life. So we, we are, are sympathetic <laughs> about what happens. But either way, here we are sharing our financial independence journey with you. If you go back to a playlist that is going to be somewhere on your screen, we can see since we started, which goes back to January 2021. Mm -hmm. So every single month we can share our net worth update and we can see our progress for financial independence, which we are planning to stop working and travel yeah. and see the world and live our lives. Yeah. <laughs> in 2024. Yeah. Here we are. So we are going to do this always, as always, we are going to go through the same step. We are going to share with you our assets. We're going to share our liabilities. We're going to talk to you about the net worth and how we are. And even though our Christian already <laughs> said, there's no spoiler alert. It's we're down, down, but let's go through this. Yeah. So we're going to start with the assets just real quick. Net worth is where you're going to take all of your assets. You're adding those all up. You're adding up all of your liabilities and you're subtracting them. And what you get at the end is your net worth. Yes. So, oh, that's the definition, by the way. <laughs> Let's talk about assets. The first asset that we have is the house here in Toronto. The price remains the same as $1,030,000. Yeah, and just a quick note on that one. We have a couple of friends in the real estate industry. And even though, yes, the market has slowed down and yes, it has softened, they haven't really seen a deviation in the prices. So we're going to stick with that price. We're not going to lower it because mm -hmm. we're confident that even if we put the house up for sale today, we would achieve that That price i believe it. so yeah. yeah i believe so speaking of that the second asset that we have in this price will definitely show is the condo that we bought that we bought blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's the condo that we bought back in 2019 and we used the price of 137,500. since 2019 the price remains the same mm -hmm. we'll definitely see an appreciator in the price which once we go to brazil at the end of the year we will be able to update that one so hopefully yes. that'll have a positive impact yeah. on our network instead <laughs> of a know. negative it's, one <laughs> it's about time yeah if you have not subscribed yet it's a great opportunity so you can see once we are in brazil and you're gonna plan to do so many things by the time that we are there but subscribe if you have not done yet yeah and the next one is the pension that i would start receiving upon reaching the age of 50 with my job uh the the amount we're using is $34,054. Yep. This would be the annual amount that we would receive each year. Um, and that's not the total amount of the value of the pension. Right. That is fluctuating. Unfortunately, it's it's dropping quite rapidly as interest rates increase. Mm -hmm. um, so I think maybe once interest rates stabilize, we might see the value of that, the total value. And maybe we'll switch it up because we're not sure if we're going to actually now take the, take pension, the pension on a yearly yeah. basis or take the commuted value. But a lot really depends on when interest rates flatten out and the value at that point in time. Yeah. In the meantime, we are gonna talk about investments and we always divide this into two parts. One, it's 
all the accounts that you have, including the TFSAs, the register accounts, so including, of course, the TFSAs, the RSPs, and the margin account. And the other one is the Smith Maneuver, which is a technique that we are using here and using the equity from our home to invest. Mm -hmm. So going back to the investments, uh, we ended the month with $275,128, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and that Smith Maneuver account that Jeanne just spoke about, we ended the month at $163,215. There's painful. a lot going on it's in these two accounts, on. and I think that's a whole other video that we're going to have to kind yeah. of... That's going to be a hard video to make, but it's a necessary one. So we're going to do that in another video. But needless to say, those values have decreased a bit. Um, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Bit. But you know what I mean? Like, it's just... I guess it's peace of it's, mind. Yeah. We are. I mean, no, no more talking about it. Yeah, we'll subscribe. Talk about that we are gonna talk about that in a specific and um, video, maybe emotional video. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So let's go back yeah. to the the assets. So when we add everything up for the month of September, we ended our total of our assets ended up at one million six hundred thirty nine thousand eight hundred and ninety seven dollars. Yeah. Still good. Still it's lots still of good. assets. You're going to see the graphics in a few seconds and then we can compare September 2022 with September 2021, but it kind of decreased a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about our liabilities. Right back to that principal residence here in Toronto. We still hold a small mortgage on it, plus we have a home equity line of credit. So adding those two up, the total liability sitting with our principal residence is $767,574. Yeah. The second liability that we have is a car finance that we started back in 2018. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of funny. Uh, at that time, I was not aware we were not even together. <laughs> so, uh, But at that time, I tell that we started financing and it was 84 months for the car. It's just crazy. I wish I knew. I mean, I wish yeah. I could, I have, but it yeah. is what it is. So the car finance, it is at $11,585. So it's a good thing to talk about because in our plan, it was to, you know, end the pay everything that we have left by the end of 2022. So we started to do this a little bit. So we are now below 12,000, so which is good, but maybe, you know, we are gonna have. Yeah, that goal might not be achieved just mm -hmm. because of everything that's going on in the market right now. Um, yeah. We're using a lot of our extra capital in other ways. So this one, it'll be paid off, but maybe by the end of the year, but honestly, it's probably gonna be 2023. Yeah, yeah. Begin yeah. of 2023, that's yeah. for sure. So let's sum but, everything up. Oh, yeah. sorry. So, go total ahead. of the liabilities is going to come out to $779,159. Yes. So, when you do that, as the um, cut, cut. So, when you do that net worth calculation where you take your assets of $1,639,897 and subtract your liabilities of $779,159, our net worth for September of 2022 comes out to $860,738. <laughs> Let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> Let that sink in and... I it's didn't dumb. say anything, so I always play with Christian and say it's not going to be below 900. Uh, I did not say anything else. As you can see, it's below 900,000 yeah. again. This isn't just going to be us, though. I feel mm. like a lot of people are going through the same struggles and uh, uh, ups and downs that we are. So yeah. this is our reality at the moment. And we can only hope and we know it'll change and it'll turn around, but it's just a hard one to swallow. And every month you see that kind of going down more and more. You're like, please stop. <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah, enough. And we can't control. The only thing that we can control is the like button. If you are liking this video, <laughs> please, please like point. the video. <laughs> yeah. Give us a thumbs up. It allows us to share our journey with other individuals and hopefully, you know, you guys are excited as we are about our financial situation, about our financial journey, and hopefully things will get better. They will. It's just yeah. going to take a little time. It does take time. <laughs> Do you feel the same? Are you... 
how are you feeling about that? Mm -hmm. Share in the comments below because it hasn't been easy. The mm -hmm. video that Christine and I are talking about, we definitely had. It's just going to be like, I'm sorry, just say spoiler alert a little <laughs> bit. We decided to sell some of the positions that we have on the swing trades. It was a quite significant cut. Mm -hmm. But I think that we feel better yeah. about it. You know, it was a difficult decision, but either way, uh, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Please subscribe and then you'll see once we create this video. Yeah. It'll be quite an interesting one. <laughs> so let's talk about our financial journey summary for 2022. On the graph on your screen, you're going to see when we look at the numbers from September compared to August, our assets went down by 2.9%. The liabilities also decrease, which is a good thing, um, by 0.71%. Mm -hmm. And overall, the net worth dropped um, compared to August by 4.8%. Yeah. You can even see on the graphic number, I'm going to show like a little below balloon and then you can see. So it's really down. It doesn't even show on the screen. Yeah. So ups and downs. Year over year from September of 2021 to September of 2022 it's actually a loss of 1.63 percent yeah, overall it's down 1.63 percent that is correct so at the end of the day i mean yeah it's nice for us to have understanding of what's going on what it really matters is cash flow the net worth is just a metric that we use to see where we are in our financial situation of course that the best scenario is having everything up if you go and take a look on the playlist Go back to 2021 and see how excited we were you know, <laughs> with everything going up, perfect world, and here we are yeah. realizing that it's not the case. But knowing that one day we're going to be as excited as we were last year when yes. things turn around. 100%. It's a great buying opportunity now. <laughs> that's so, what we're telling ourselves. Yeah, yeah, it is. But that's the truth, right? I yeah. mean, we know that the, the market is going to recover no matter what. Maybe to not, not to the same pace that we wish. Mm -hmm. But we can't control. What we can control is another graphic that you can see on your screen, which is the, all the investments that we have. So if we do compare September 2021 with September 2022, what happened? So year over year, all of the investments have decreased or gone down by 5.76% mm -hmm. in value. And the Smith Maneuver account in particular is down by 24.58%. Yeah. And, and that one we're going to touch on in our other video. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so lessons learned. All yeah. that we can do is keep... Keep going, right? Keep going. This isn't going to stop us. And it's hopefully, touch wood, not going to derail the plan for 2024. Mm -hmm. We're still pretty confident that that's still going to happen. Um and we're just going to see how the next year and a half plays out. Yes. So if you are interested, I'm going to link down below a link. I'm going to link <laughs> a link. Sorry. <laughs> but basically, you can download the net, the same net worth spreadsheet that we use on this video. So go click on this link, download mm -hmm. the spreadsheet and play around. I mean, yeah. we are not far away from for the end of 2022. So it's a great opportunity for you to restart tracking this number now. Mm -hmm. Again, it's just a metric that you can use and see where we are, you know, where you are on your financial journey, right? Yeah. So we're down in the month of September. Disappointing, but kind of expected. We'll see. I think October might follow suit a little bit, at yeah, least the way yeah. the month is going so far. But like Jayan said, this is our buying opportunity. So yeah. we're going to be doing quite a bit of um, transitioning this month uh, between brokerages, actually. So that's yes. going to involve some buying and selling, mm -hmm. which could uh, affect some things. But we'll see how it all turns out. And yeah. we'll let you know in the next video that we do. Yeah. Or on the next ones. We are definitely going <laughs> to link this video that we all keep talking about. So you can take a look for sure yeah once the video comes yeah. yeah but that's the video for this week we hope you guys are having a great october uh the day today looks beautiful outside so it hopefully does. it's nice wherever you are and you can get out and enjoy the day yeah we hope that you're well we hope that you are safe you know keep investing as you you know as much as you can we 
understand that every fine, you know, situation is different, but we are, you know, we are really touched by the comments that we have mm -hmm. received and all the emails and everything. So keep yeah. it up and we will see you in our next video. Yeah. Have a great week, guys. Bye. Bye. All right, so usually so during the bloopers, we are going to have the, the videos. videos. But no, we don't do it. No, we have to stop and we are going to say goodbye to you. That might be a few. Now we got to take real pictures. Yeah, real pictures. <laughs> and you might ask why we were told that we need to, <laughs> to, to improve our thumbnails. Our thumbnails. <laughs> so here we go. There you go. Here's to improving the thumbnail. <laughs> Bye. Come sit, s'mores and s'mores. Yeah. The moment of truth. Oh, your cable oh. thing is poking up. Oh, she's this? You got a loop by your neck. How's that? It's time to talk about our assets. The first asset that we have is the house that we do live here in Toronto. So, the, I didn't say Toronto. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's a lot of O's in there. <laughs> Toronto. Huh? Let's talk about assets. The first asset that we have is the house that we have. <laughs> I know. <laughs>